Do we have a point? The podcast for your earballs. Earballs, balls, 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 balls. I'm Brad. Daniel here. Sam. We gotta. I'm gonna make up some <laughs> intro music for you. It's like just badass going all out, drums and guitars, and then just Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> what? That's why like, mm. she always brings the energy. I am Sam. Well, I, mean, I don't like the name Sam right now. Not, not against you, but Sam from Home uh, Depot, who I'm still fucking with. <laughs> it's been going two on weeks now. What March? Well, we yeah we bought originally back in Four March. Months? We finally got the flooring done. The carpet is installed. The the life proof uh, vinyl wood laminate whatever flooring in the office and kitchen that's all done. The house looks awesome. Oh, yeah, it's nice. It is nice. Super nice. The carpet is so, so fluffy. Fluffy. That's the word I was going to use. And so now it's been two weeks since it's been done, and I've been trying to get a hold of uh, Sam. Sam. If you're listening, answer your fucking phone. I call every day to Home Depot. Hey, I need to talk with Sam. Okay, yeah, he's here. Hang on. And they put me on hold. And then I'll just go through this long loop of, it's ringing to a phone, then it goes back to on hold, and it rings to a phone, and it goes back on hold, and then the customer service agent picks back up. He's like, this is Ned. I'm like, it's still me, waiting to talk to Sam, and I'll get put on the hold. 25 minutes today on going through that fucking circle. And then they go, oh, yeah, Sam had already left. I'm like, then why did you tell me he was here and you would get him? I was going to say he must be a busy man, but I guess he's just gone. He knows I'm calling. He he's knows, ducking yeah. Nicole. He's ducking the shit out of me. You need his personal cell. Oh, I, I wish I could get call it. corporate. Sam, you need to call as his mother. This oh, is I offered Sam's to go up mom, there and and I just I can't get a hold of him. What's his cell phone number? If, <laughs> <laughs> he never gave it to me. If I don't talk to him by this weekend, I will be there Monday morning. I bet he'll be out Monday morning. I can talk to Lori and find out his schedule. Yeah, she's very willing to give up the information. Lori mm-hmm. sounds like she would be. Lori's very understanding. But she's not the one who resolves the issues. She just sits there and takes your call. She well, Lori's not. She's uh, higher up, but she does. The, she's the one who gathers all the information, puts it all in nice, neat order, and then hands that off to the complaint manager guy. So she's like, "Yeah, I got everything. He's supposed to have been here, but yeah, I guess he's already ducked out for the day." He's like, "He's off tomorrow. He'll be in on Thursday. He opens, so he'll be here at like five o'clock in the morning." <laughs> I think you should you. you should put on your sexiest voice and ask for Sam. Is Sam there? Is Sam there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for steak? Sam. <laughs> it's about flooring. So yeah, I'll be there Monday if I don't fucking talk to him this weekend. You better find out a schedule first because it's a holiday. Well, not a holiday, but it's observed. It's an holiday. observed holiday, but I don't think Home Depot's closed on. And I don't think well, you can find out be, a person's schedule, can you? That's kind of stalkery. Well, like I said, Lori understands the situation going on, and she wants to help. So that's why she gave me this week's schedule. And I've been calling, and he keeps ducking. How, he's how, got, how he's, long, you said? Two weeks? Two weeks. Two and weeks he's ducking, dodging. Two weeks yeah. worth of notes and emails sent to him from internal saying, call back Brad Matoski. He's scared because he's going to give you bad info. Oh, please. Because then it will go to corporate. To yeah, he's going to be I like, I did that thing I promised down. I don't have. And he, he already knows what's going on. I've talked to him before. He knows everything's going on. He seems, and when I talk to him, sounds like a really nice guy. Wanting to help and all that stuff, but now he's playing the the ditch game, and so he has no answers. Yeah. What is it, so? What is it that you're trying to get in touch with? Compensation. About? That's why. Uh, that's it. He well, doesn't want to come off. Fucked up. Wait, wait, wait! You haven't paid a dime. No. Oh, yes, we have. Oh, you have. It's already paid off on credit card, and we now we're paying those bills. But yeah, 
That's forty six hundred dollars. Duck and dodge and dip and dodge. Over two, dodge. And, two and a half months to get done because of their fuck ups. Yeah, and even longer now. And well, even longer now just to get a hold of them to re- get the resolution, and yeah, including taking time off of work, taking the vacation to do the house renovations, and then not being able to do it because they suck. Sending us broken shit and then mismeasuring nine fucking feet of carpet. <laughs> Which knocked us completely out of taking an actual vacation. Two weeks. Yeah. When someone we could have been in Vegas. Me, I had someone have. call me at noon and I missed the call and I felt bad when I called him back at 149. Mm. Can imagine. Well, you're a nice guy, Daniel. Ducking somebody for two weeks. Maybe you should be the main, like the floor manager over like seven departments at this Home Depot. Well, if if the price is right, Sam, I'm coming for your job. Maybe you apparently there's it. job security because you don't have to fucking talk to anybody. Yeah, Maybe yeah you perfect. Write it all down on construction paper with crayons, and he'll understand it. You Ooh, owe me money. Low blow. Well, Crayola. What color crown do you want me to explain this to you in? <laughs> I'll even draw little daisies and happy faces. Draw like a whole blueprint of the house. This is where you fucked up. X, 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 This X, is where X, nine X, extra X, feet X, should X, have X, been. X, 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 yeah. X. Here's a calendar. Here's where you didn't show up. Here's yeah. the days you owe us for. When the, uh, what, two days of, mi- three days. Three. Uh, yeah, two days me and her both missed. That was due for the install. So you got to pay us for time missed. Even though we were on vacation, we took the vacation to have it done. Otherwise, we would have taken vacation that week. No, we would have taken an actual fucking vacation. Vegas. Then. Sue. Well, uh, let's not not put the cart before the horse. Wait a minute. Litigation. Wait a minute. This is America. I do pay into the. uh, Yeah, no, we get discount lawyer lawyer for that. Yeah, 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 through your work. So it's not $350 an hour. It's only $300 an hour. Let's not put the cart before the horse. (laughs) Let's see if Sam keeps ducking and then we go to corporate. Sam versus Sam. Celebrity death match. Ding, ding, get it on. <laughs> My mood lately, I'd probably destroy that poor you guy. You got to wear the hood that you're wearing now while you're <laughs> oh, fighting. Oh, gangsta. Yeah. Batman style. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. I don't care. Good. Yeah. If I, don't say, if I don't hear from him this weekend, I'll be there on Monday morning. And if I don't get to him then. Tapping your foot. Going to corporate. And then corporate's going to get an earful. Which hopefully actually shit rolls downhill and he'll get the earful. And then from there, we'll see about litigation if nothing gets resolved at the corporate level. Should you like go there uh, wearing a carpenter's belt or something? Like they're just... wearing a goddamn samurai sword on my back. <laughs> hey, Sam! <laughs> Mary! <laughs> Meet me outside by the flagpole right now. It looks like a samurai sword, but it's a blueprint when you pull it out. Listen, <laughs> motherfucker. There's my house. This is where you <laughs> fucked up. A construction piece. Let slap you with knowledge. Yeah, Meet me over in lumber. I'll show you how sharp this is. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, insane. that's been our. It's been the hell. But it looks nice. It but looks, it does, it does look, look nice. nice. Yeah, it's it matches the paint. It's all. It's pretty. It's, they did it. They did a swell job. Yeah, the guy, the the two installer guys. Well, both sets of installers. The uh, life proof vinyl wood planks and the carpet guys. Both sets of two. What is both life awesome. proof? It's a brand. It's a, it's it's a brand. Uh, brand. Okay. And it's pretty good name because like you can drop shit on it, you can drag shit across it. It doesn't scuff, scrape, anything like that. Unless you have a, a shitty. Uh, Is that thing called humidifier humidifier hmm. that's supposed to be on wheels but like one's all fucked up and jank so it just goes <laughs> when you drag it and it leaves like this brown scuff mark it's a very specific thing that that's it's not what it sounds is. like <laughs> but luckily that scuff comes right up that's the only thing though that's, yeah. that we found at least <laughs> that's the only thing we found so far that'll scuff it but it wiped up yeah, yeah you gotta uh, oh, that's good. finger the shit out of it it'll come up so yeah, I've got I, a little scrub brush and it'll come right out <laughs> I redid the flooring in my kitchen in Cincinnati, and it was right after completion. Uh, Jenny's mom had moved the washer back into place. Oh, wow. I remember that. Uh, she was like, well, you want to rip it up? 
It's a third of the floor. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna color it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. Absolutely, I didn't walk into that kitchen for hours. Yes. Not like so you know, I was, I was it wasn't a scratch that kind of keeps the color. With no, it was a noticeable scratch, yes. oh, like man. white on black, like <laughs> like you just took a knife and just carved so it. Yeah. yeah, and it was so much effort because I cut everything inside the house because it was always storming for some reason yeah. when I was installing it. So I had a shop vac right next to the blade as I was cutting everything. Everything was just like way more meticulous than it should yeah. have been mm-hmm. and then the scuff happened no the scrape the scratch the gouge happened the bullshit the bullshit <laughs> the happening <laughs> i was done i was done with this floor I'm done with this house burn it yeah it wasn't early on it was a third of the way in so i was like i'm that's too far now to go back <laughs> like i'm not ripping all these planks oh. up no and you probably wouldn't have had would you had enough to redo we had enough, yeah, but I had other been plans for the rest of replaced, it. But oh, okay. <laughs> no, it was like six. Oh, that's right, yeah, because that one, that one, that one should have been like four, or depending where your lines are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, uh, I just remember fucking with that uh, that back sliding door. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm glad everybody left. Oh yeah, because it was yeah your ex and her mom there, and we're trying to put this glass sliding door in that did not want to no. cooperate. The house was not level. No, the, the, the track was all fucked up. Like the door was perfect, but the tracking and everything was mm-hmm. offset because of how the house settled. They were like, "We're, we're gonna like, go to dinner." Well, oh yeah, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. goodbye. Have a good time. You leave. You get out. As soon as they get out of the driveway, mother fuck you. She couldn't cuss around her. Motherfucker, get out of there. We're kicking the shit out of this door. Oh, Brad and I are on our backs, and we're both donkey kicking this thing into the frame. We're bending the fucking track. <laughs> and we get it in. We step in and out. Oh, this is nice. We got a good yeah, seal on it. Once it got in, it worked perfectly You're fine. You're never like it was getting level. it out. No, yeah. that. Good luck. You have to tear the whole frame out of the wall. <laughs> Burn the house down. It's still standing oh there. Oh my god! I I, we took like a pair, of like because we bent the, the outside yeah. track so much, we had to take like a pair of pliers and bend it back <laughs> up. And like, hopefully, you don't notice. <laughs> but it slid. It was nice. Because they were like, "Don't be, you can't be rough with it. it, it, it it'll you fit in there. It'll fit in there." It. We're like, "Uh huh, yeah. yeah, Please leave. Please leave." <laughs> they left. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised we didn't break the glass. Yeah. Oh, it thunked. Quite a few times. <laughs> a couple times we're like, okay, maybe not that hard. Yeah, we took like a five minute break. Okay, let's get back. We got at some it. of the aggression out. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of aggression out on that. Yeah. Oh, it worked out. It's and then they came back. We're like, it yeah, in. it fit right in like a glove. It was yeah, easy. Not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Don't mind the seventeen boot prints on it. <laughs> <laughs> if the door had a voice, oh. if they beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it two two four kids? No. I hate that song. I don't know this song. Two it's, two four kids. Yeah, it's the ch- child, child abuse services. hotline. Oh, oh, never mind, never oh, mind, never mind. I, thought, I was thinking of that uh, cars for kids. No. C A R. Yeah. C A R. Are they big wheels? Cars for kids. Big wheels for kids. No, just cars. Kids get cars. They do now. Cars for kids, not sponsored. Huh. Cars for kids. Well, you donate car. your car so that you know the families can, with the kids, can have a vehicle. Mm. They're leaning heavily on the the emotional side of the donation. <laughs> like you could help this family of six kids. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the parents? They're there, but it's the kids. The kids. They need the a children. car. No, they it's don't. The, the parents children. need a car, but the kids will be in the car. <laughs> That's what they focus on. That's the most annoying fucking <laughs> jingle ever. You were going to say. <laughs> well, I want a scooter is all I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say. What kind of scooter? You want a Vespa? There was a guy uh, driving a Vespa uh, with a full mustache <laughs> uh, driving to his beer tending job. I'm positive of it. Uh, <laughs> Some kind of hipster thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he looks so happy on this thing. And he's like sitting regular, just like knees together. I'm sure the horn was like, meet me. Okay. <laughs> so there's a Disney movie on Disney Plus called Luca, and it revolves around a Vespa. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That guy was on Luca. Luca is the name of the Vespa? Nope. Oh, Luca's the guy in the Vespa. Yeah. Speaking of scooters, though, real quick, 
Did you see that uh, these two like best friends recreated the mini bike drive from Dumb and Dumber? No. They got the same like looking exact piece of shit little mini bike. <laughs> like this is the frame and an engine and a handlebar. Yeah. And they dressed just like Harry and Lloyd and they drove cross country in it all the oh way up to, all the way up no to Aspen. Way. <laughs> yep. Holy cow. Wow. I have to look that up That's and post dedication. It. Like they they nailed it. <laughs> So you're saying there's a chance. So you're still saying there's a chance. <laughs> I'm like a little boy. I desperately want to make love to you. I desperately want to make love to a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's such the dumbest that movie. That movie is so stupid. Yeah, but it's so good. <laughs> awful. It's like something so awful, but classic. Yes. Our pet's heads are falling off. <laughs> He sold a dead bird to a blind kid? <laughs> you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? No. <laughs> <laughs> there anything else on your Vespa story? Oh, no. That was just it. I was just on the way here, and it was just, uh, I was, I just wanted that life, you know? He just looks so happy, just driving. Me, me. Yeah. Meanwhile, I got my office in my car with like a like a, a computer and a printer and just, just I'm like, man, I want that. Just just get rid of around. all of it and just drive a Vespa to my bartending job where I know all about IPAs. You know what I mean? Maybe. Sounds free. I can see like the guys at the Century Bar doing that too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And know how yeah. to make a proper old fashioned. And your mustache just waves. Just literally flapping behind your head because it's so fucking yeah. long. As you're going 32 Central miles an hour. It's a nice place. It is nice. Yeah. Is, did they relocate? I, don't I thought so. I heard that they were, they relocated. Where were they before? Uh, one of the streets downtown. They're still downtown. Yeah, but I think they moved out of that small, tiny little bar location they've did been they? in for 100 years. I don't know, but uh, where Fifth Street Wine and Deli Arcade, what's it called? Uh, oh, I had it and I lost it. It is called an arcade. It's not. It used to be Fifth Street Wine it's and Deli. It's on Jefferson. Canal Street. Canal Street Tavern. Canal Street Deli and Arc- Arcade and Deli. Yeah, something like that. Well, cat according to that is where that vampire bar is, and it's dope, dude. There's a vampire bar? It's like... They do the like golf posted. night, vampire yeah. night. Oh, yeah, 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 they yeah. do like naked women body painting, and like they, I don't know what they do. I left at like eight thirty, but at ten o'clock they might start biting each other. I don't know. Blade might come in. Fuck yeah, Wesley Snipes comes in. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, that no, could I be still pretty the high class over there too. Place. There's a lady in a red dress sitting at the corner of the bar talking about how she's on her fourth husband. Well, that's, She's that's most bars. probably a vampire. She looked like a vampire. Still had the youthful but elder look to her and very pale. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Vampire for sure. Vampire. <laughs> Definitely. Had the, the, the hairpins on the sides. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, not a beehive, but it's kind of slumped up and, f- yeah. and down past the shoulders. Like she's yeah. 900, but she's like Victorian 30. Yeah. Kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. And, he's had a red and she's dress on her stiff. fourth husband because she bit the rest of them. It's because she's lived. Through, she's lived through four husbands, not in like a regular human lifetime, but you know, fifty years 50. each. Oh yeah, yeah. That's two hundred years. She did minimum. have a bunch of like uh, costume jewelry on. It was, it was probably real diamonds. Yeah, given to her from her late husbands. Probably from King Tut. <laughs> Good <Could have> man. <laughs> Bitch, be old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we should go there and have uh, a drink sometime because the drinks are like seventeen dollars. Whoa! I'll meet you outside. Yeah, just go in there. We'll hang out. Have a thirteen dollar beer. They charge for water. Mm. Probably no. They didn't actually. Oh wow! Yeah, but yeah. you bought something, so you got the water. So it was, you just get water. But it was cool. So I I walk in and uh, there's four hosts for some reason. Uh, scantily clad uh, women in their 20s. As they should be. Yeah, and uh, they seat you with a card that looks like an ace of spades. And the spade in the middle is a QR code for the menu. Okay. And I'm pretty sure it had my name on it. You made a reservation, so... 
it so they kind of go a little bit all out on it. Pretty baller, dude. Okay. Yeah. So like there was time experience. and effort into that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you sit there, you have your uh, expensive cocktail, and you wait for vampires to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty sick. I didn't know that existed in Dayton, Ohio. Wow. Yeah. I like the, there's the, the bar that's in Oregon right next to Ned Peppers. The the hole in the wall. Like literally, because you can be inside Ned Peppers and you go through the hole in the wall to the other oh, side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so now that's a set. They actually, I think they didn't seal it off, but they put like a little drywall in there. Okay. And it's its own separate bar over there now. It's called, I think, I believe it's called the Hole in the Wall. Is that the one with the swings in the back? I th- maybe it's all like Nintendo comic book themed. That's sweet. And yeah, you can get like cereal there. It's a cereal bar slash alcohol bar. What? Yeah. Huh. I'm into that. Yeah, like the all the I walls and everything. Cereal. The whole all the walls are like. Nintendo, like Mario, and then Sega for Sonic, and all this stuff going on. You go into the bathroom, and it's all uh, comic book. Uh, oh, can't remember what's that called? Andy, not Andy. Yeah, Andy Warhol esque style. What do they call that? Uh, like retro, savages. modern, modern chic culture. So I can't remember what it's called, but it's yeah, it's the the comic book frames and everything from certain comic books and like they have like half the panel on this side and half the panel on this side it's the entire fucking bathroom see i would that's i would love to live inner city where there are places that are really weird and cool like that that i could drive my vespa to yeah right and just have a bowl of cereal and do my homework or something a bowl of cereal I'm and a fucking 40 years old still in college. it's expensive crap. to live yeah. downtown oh yeah those lofts are not cheap mm-hmm. delco lofts i think were for a one bedroom if that one bedroom is like, like 1400 square feet yeah i mean it wasn't small but it is a one bedroom yeah it'll run you 1500 at minimum but imagine but you also get that the you view of the baseball games don't have a car you yeah. don't have you don't have the car payment you don't have the insurance on the car you don't have to buy the tags you don't have to reinstate your license or whatever I think you have all of those expenses for You'd have to have that. I think. Then I would have a mini bike. I would have some kind of motorized vehicle that goes under thirty-five miles an hour that I did not need a license for. You just need a motorized bicycle. Bam. Pedal assisted or engine assisted bicycle. That's what I would have. You can still use pedal power, or you can just stop pedaling and it goes. Have you seen these motorized unicycles? No. Yes. Oh my god, they're amazing. I can't ride one normal. No. No. They're well. I've tried. Th- you just stand on them, and they're like, uh, "What are those things that you just like lean forward and they go hoverboard?" No, it's, it's like um, a hoverboard. Oh, the the one that's like the, the like the, the mall, mall security. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those things. It's like what that. Is that. But there's like there's luggage in the middle that you can like put your whatever in between your legs, and then you just hop on this thing and you just go. Segway. Segway. Yeah, it's like a segway. Yeah, segway without handlebars, and you just. Zoom. Who's going? Hmm. You okay, don't need a license yeah. for that. Uh, or one of those one those. wheel. Have you seen a one wheel? It's a yeah. skateboard with the wheel in the middle. Yes. Yeah, there was one when we went to get ice cream after Beady Mongolian Grills on my birthday. Yeah, yeah. The guy that was eating his ice cream with his elbow pads, knee pads, and helmet on. Yeah. 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 Dangerous. Yeah. It is. It is. I, yeah. My cousin broke three ribs. Falling on one of those. Oh, I, I thought, right was, I thought you said he broke through the rib eating ice cream. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what that's the guy looked like he was prepared for. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my ice cream that's eating helmet on. Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream comes at you quick. <laughs> Never know. Yeah. Yeah, I'd ride one of those. Yeah. You'd save a bunch of money. I don't think I have the balance for any of this. Bicycle, yeah. But yeah, outside of that, no. Never know unless you try. But you uh, have like fifteen hundred dollars for an electric unicycle. No, we can try it out. No, oh, don't. No. Oh, we can ask uh, Sam. Oh yeah, I want to get our discount, our compensation, yeah, fucker. Just be like, thanks I want an electric unicycle. Yeah, yeah, thanks. There yeah. went my blood pressure. You're welcome. <laughs> now that money will go into another house that project. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't mean to be maniacal. No, that out. money will go to probably the electric. <laughs> Got to get the house rewired, and then this house will be done. Then uh, Donskis. As far as all major things. The inside, anyway. Well, the outside just needs a power wash. And a whole bunch of... Well, some gardening, <sighs> PLC, but... Yeah. Other than yeah. that, and so the house itself will be done after we rerun the electric because the electrics, half of it is the original 1956 or 58. Nothing has a ground. No, yeah, it's all two wire and it's just a, it's ready to burn at some point. <laughs> it's going to happen. We've <laughs> Don't lost. Say that. There, we have outlets. There's wood died. behind you. Knock on it. This one works. <laughs> and we have some that are just dead because, you know. There's Electricity also one dies. That we thought yeah. it was dead. When was this house built? Fifty six. You didn't have to bring that one up. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah. <coughs> what was found in this house dead? We Go had ahead, an outlet Brad. we thought died because we had it in uh, one outlet and everything it was working forever, and then it, like the top one stopped working, and then we switched to the bottom one, and then that was working for a while, and then that stopped working. So we've been running an extension cord from the other side of the living room behind the couch to get. You know, light up the lamp and all that stuff on that side of the couch. Yeah. When we had the carpet installed, uh, the guy was flipping the switches next to the door for like the porch light, and he flipped the other light switch, and nothing, not didn't think nothing of it. He comes in and he plugs in something. They were like, "Oh, that one doesn't work," and everything on his shit lit up. And I was like, "No, it works." <laughs> like, what the hell? He was like, "Yeah, I just flip the switch over there and it came on." I was like, "Motherfucker." <laughs> Looks like you need a diagram for yeah. the house. We've been living like two <laughs> years without that outlet because we didn't know that switch ran it. Never knew that. Sneaky. And I've been in this house 12 fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have outlets that are completely dead. Like, there's no switch for them. They're just dead. They're loose. Like, you can plug stuff in and the, the plug will fall oh, out. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Like the one I was using to vacuum yesterday. Yeah, if you look at it, it goes, ah, and throws it out. <laughs> I don't want this. I'm not working anymore. I'm retired. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so that's going to cost a pretty penny, but the compensation should help with that. Well, if you're looking to buy a uh, house, Pat just listed his home for 575 I was debating on bringing that up. He sent me <laughs> I sent her. I was like, this pictures. is Pat's house because Sam's never seen I've it. I've never seen it. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. It's yeah. a five-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath. Good good photos. Five-and-a-half. And and, yeah. Surprise me. For five-and-a-half. Five seventy-five. I thought it was 563 or something around there. It was a weird number. 575. Okay, a single bachelor, man on the prowl, has a couple of kids, shared custody, um, has a five-bedroom, four-and-a-half bathhouse. That house was just way too goddamn big for him. Yeah, it's, it's in a nice neighborhood. Love you, Pat, but you were in way over your head on the size of that house. <laughs> but it's beautiful. And he's going to make a pretty penny on it because obviously yeah, he, he bought will. it less than what it's selling for now. Especially I didn't thanks even to the see market. the selling price. Yeah, it's, 75. Yeah, like almost 575. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're looking at over $100,000 a room or bedroom. I bet moms could go for not near as much, but a close, good four. If not more. Yeah. They're so. on what? An acre? Just over an acre, I believe is what they I said. I wish what over I owned land, acre, I would I just think? put like a shed on land and sell it for 150 in this market. You know what I mean? This year, one room house. Wait, one room. Comes with 12 acres. It's got a bathroom. <laughs> it's just a hole in the fucking wall. <laughs> just stick your dick through it. You'll be all right. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Poop out of it, whatever. Yeah, just get to waller out the hole a little bit wider so you can stick your butt out. Yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah, you're good. Watch out for splinters. One bedroom, Who one bath. No running water. <laughs> Can you imagine a splinter on your ass? Yes. Ouch. I can. It would hurt. Yeah. Not in the bung hole, but Left on cheek. the butt cheek. Right cheek? Yeah. It was my right cheek. Oh, you've had this happen? I've had a wood splinter right in my ass. How big was this wood splinter? Like a, like a you know, a two by four that splintered off. So it was like a... Uh, yeah. So it was like pinky nail size? Not longer. that thick. Uh, I'd say thicker than a toothpick. Ooh, ooh. 
and it's and like a little bit longer than one. In the ass. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Jag, yeah, right in the fat, yeah. right in the fat. You of can the cheek. walk on air when that happens. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> did you go? Did you go really high pitched when it happened? <laughs> I can't remember the scream, but I'm sure it wasn't uh, extremely manly. <laughs> yeah, I just remember it was a piece of pl- uh, like a two by four that was like sitting just like angled, like leaning up against a wall or something. And I was like sat up on it. I was like, I want to slide down it. We and it snapped. That son of a splinter went right up in there, right in the butt cheek. I'll learn you, boy. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, who took it out? I did. Oh, with a mirror? No, he just, he just reached back there and find it. <laughs> you know, the part that hurts. I'm like, oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. Ow. Go, oh, yoink. Good thing it didn't get particles stuck in it. No, it was just the, just the one giant toothpick sized one that went in there and then that just came right out and bled a little bit and that was good. I should have framed it or something. <sighs> my butt This splinter. has been in my ass. ass splinter. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> the only wood that will ever enter. <laughs> I guess you could say I've been penetrated by wood. <laughs> oh. And it sits on this frame. <laughs> yeah. I still think we need to do what we talked about yesterday. <clears throat> Mystery Science Theater 3000 with softcore porn. Yep. Yes. Untapped potential. We can tap it. <laughs> we can tap it. If y'all don't know, yeah, I'm, a lot of you, I'm sure, do know. It's a huge cult hit that's underground, but not underground. Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yes, you know of that. I, I can see you nodding your head. You're like, mm-hmm, I know about this. Mm, yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to do that same thing... But with softcore porn. <laughs> Daniel, I will kill you if you get that on the carpet. Oh my god, I just opened this. <laughs> softcore porn always has. Swear to God, put the beer down. <laughs> I know. There's no spitting in softcore porn. <laughs> oh. Oh. But. <laughs> yeah. Not in true softcore Skinamax. They don't show that. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's always like guy, go, guy goes sure. to the table at Vegas. He's gambling. She's Lady humping his belly button, <laughs> and like, no, it's like it's like thirty-five to forty minutes of like uh, dialogue, just dialogue, dialogue and scene, and, and they finally go development. Up and there's like a, there's like a, there's a dress with legs showing and a martini, and he's like, I just won thirty thousand dollars at craps, and she's like, I'll show you. So craps. who's wearing the dress? Oh, <laughs> he is. I don't know. There's a there's a, there's a lot of porn out there. All right. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot of porn. I'm sure, we'll see a dude address at some point. But to do it, Mystery Science Theater 2000, because yeah, the softcore porn is a lot of theatrical, just acting horribly, setting up storylines, yeah. and there's actual character development. And you scenes. know what we're going to do for half of the movies <laughs> is we're going to be like, yeah, now we fuck, and then it'll be another scene. Okay, yeah. No. Yeah, now we. Oh, you fuck. saw the looking at it. Yeah, it ready though. <laughs> fuck. Nope, nope. Going gardening. Nope. All right. <laughs> yeah, she's doing her hair to fuck. No, no, she's no. Oh, she's air right, air right in the. Hole. Oh yeah, she sees the little holes going. Oh yeah, the the it's plunging in there. Yeah, that's all. Oh, that's going to. Nope, going in for tea. <laughs> Shit. All right. <laughs> so yeah, MST three K softcore porn. We're gonna be. I love Google. <laughs> Why? Is it listening to us? No, I just Googled worst softcore porn, and it gave me a the most ridiculous softcore porn films. Mm. Good. Let's see what we got. That's the list that we need. So I think our the whole dynamic of this would be is we would record the audio, and we would put the title of (laughs) the porn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'd put the title of the porn on there so that you guys could watch it, and then you sync it with our audio. So this is like the Wizard of Oz and the Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, very similar. <laughs> so over there, you, you put the volume on low, not off, but low, so that you can hear the dialogue, and then us interjecting and, and captions too, and putting captions. captions. But that'll get jumbled too because the movie captions plus our captions. Mm. So yeah, mm. just put the volume on low, and then we'll, you know, we'll make a little beep sound so that you can sync, and then watch the softcore porn while. We make fucking fun of it. Yes. Glorious fun. 
we we haven't practiced this yet. No, no this is just an idea that we came up with yesterday. Because <laughs> Daniel's like, we should record in a theater. <laughs> Sam was like, I'll record it. And I said, I think that's against the law. But wait. Yeah, because there's we can't publish other people's videos and intellectual uh, properties. So... But Unless it's can. a what if it's a Nick Cage movie? He they won't give a, he won't shit. Give a shit. He's made yeah. too many. He probably forgot that he made that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm sure there is a Nick Cage softcore porn out there. Probably. I hope there is. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> oh yeah. So just like that, I subscribe to. Uh, uh, You're gonna like my declaration. <laughs> it's a page called Nicholas Cage's face on things. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> it's so that good. It's amazing. Hilarious. Have you seen the one of him on the bathing suit, like the full one piece bathing suit? Yes. Oh, just his face going. <laughs> there's also one. Uh, there's a page. It's just uh, uh, posting the same Nick Cage photo every day, and it's been going on for like four and a half years. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's dedication. <laughs> it's dedication. But then in the comments, of course, there's always there's like thirty guys that. They post uh, posting a second Nick Cage uh, photo on the original Nick Cage photo the same day every year. And like it just keeps going and going and they just they inception it. Yeah. Yeah. So what was you threw your hand up like you had some amazing porn titles. Oh, yeah. Let's They're... rattle them off. Porn titles are those are black cocked down. Those are you know, those are fun and easy. So so these the first These are the worst softcore porn. Worst porns. softcore porns. The Witchcraft series, which I don't know. Okay. Sounds, sounds fun. Okay. Right. Emmanuel First Contact. Emmanuel. The it's first from seventy four and it's French. Emmanuel. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You like witches. a baguette? <laughs> Is that a baguette in your pants? You're just happy to see me. Oui. <laughs> Is that a wee oui, wee? Oui? The witches of Brestwick. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, good. They had to be big tittied. Yeah. Sexual chemistry. Okay. That's a Secret Games Three. Vampire Hookers. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. yes. That's Suck me, baby. Be it. Office Love in White Collar Style. White collar style the in the Lord, office. The Lord of the G strings. Oh, Harvey the Weinstein. The female ship of the string. The female strip of the string. What well, fuck off? That's you are way Whoa. overstretching that. Whoa. That's a huge reach. The yeah. female ship, not strip. Well, either way, the female sh- no, 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 of the string. Female no, ship no, that, of that's the that's string. A massive yeah. reach. Hard ticket to Hawaii. Ooh. Okay, I like that. I like some High Club. The Toy yeah. Box, Ooh, which is uh, about a few swingers go to a weird party at a castle that turns out something to be like House on Haunted Hill meets Skinamax. Ooh, it's a scary movie. Ooh, Ooh, and that's like all that's it. on this list. I like That's it. on the list. I like, I like that. Vampire Hookers. That's... Oh, so good. The, let, the, let me the, read the one about of Hawaii Vampire. one was good too. Hang on, mm-hmm. hang on. Let me get back to it. I like some good vacation scenery. Vampire hookers. Vampire daddy Johnny Cordain recruits a team of undead prostitutes to supply him with tasty red libations. <laughs> <laughs> During shore leave, two sailor pals fall into the bloodsuckers' traps while they wander into Carradine's territory, thinking they're about to score with a hooker. Sexy times and bad fart jokes eventually ensue. Oh, no. Vampire hookers pimp. His The pimp hand is strong, keeping its ladies in line and sadly not utilizing the fang fiends for their unexpected. <laughs> but you do get to hear Carradine recite an awful lot of poetry. Plus, there's the ridiculous closing credit song. David Carradine? David Carradine's um, in the softcore porn. John. Oh, John. It's his brother. John. His brother, John. John Carradine. He went to softcore porn. David Carradine went to Kung karate and I don't know if they're related. in a fucking closet with a belt around his neck. Oh, you went it. You went. <laughs> you went there all the way. Oh, my God. I got to read the, the G string one. Ah. Uh. A farting wizard woman. Farting. Or- <laughs> oh, okay. This is so. This is cake farts, but softcore. This. 
A farting bizarre. wizard, women oranging it up in the woods, and characters based with names like Dildo Sagans, mm-hmm. Benadryl, mm-hmm. and Hymen Torn. Okay, yeah, yeah oh. okay. Oh Those God. are obvious, but yes, that's Ooh. work. Hard to get to Hawaii, uh, yes. like Michael Bay, but with more boobs and giant <laughs> snakes. <laughs> Now I am sold on that. <laughs> what? Can you read that again? <laughs> Hard ticket to Hawaii, like Michael Bay, but with more boobs and giant snakes. Uh, yes. uh, is the snakes yes. uh, in quotes? Yes. No. Oh, okay. Ugh. So maybe there will be like actually like giant snakes on the motherfucking plane. Uh, yeah. Or they meant like tube snakes. <laughs> Like Michael Bay. It's like Michael Bay, but with boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of booms, they're boobs. How do you how do you like find yourself in this? Whoever realm? wrote that needs a raise. Yes. That's <laughs> glorious. Hard to You know get what to I'm gonna Hawaii do, Mom? I'm gonna be a soft poor core porn producer. All. Say that again. Hard ticket to Hawaii is the most enjoyable B movie of them all. Fuck yeah! Nice, nice. Yeah, we're we're gonna get that. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait. We're at the softcore. And have I mentioned the subplot data. revolves around girls hunting a deadly escaped snake that has been infected with toxins from cancer-infested rats? I like that. There's wait, an wait. actual story. There's an actual involved. story, but again, are they gonna say it's the dude's dick? That's infested with cancer from no, rats. No, it's an actual We gotta suck snake. it out. You gotta suck the venom out. <laughs> it's anaconda with shit. Uh, there's one of the henchmen who is executed with a uh, razor-tipped frisbee. Oh. That'd be interesting. Yeah, Raiden style. Or uh, Kung Lao style. Kung Lao. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Kung I would Lao. watch this. Well, fuck yeah. I would watch this. But a snake that's... Diseased with toxins from a cancer-ridden rat. That's so. You brought up Kung Lao, and it. I just listened to the Joe Rogan Quentin Tarantino podcast. Okay, yeah, Quentin Tarantino is uh, Quentin Tarantino is making the rounds right now. Is he really? Yeah, he is. Because he put the book out for uh, Once Upon a Once Time. Upon a Time in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. So now he's touring that. Okay, yeah. But well, he did say sense. he did say he's only doing one more movie. That is what he said. He is yeah. retiring. And he doesn't know what he's doing with the movie. Uh, like He has nothing written for Not, it Nothing yet. planned, but whatever's next is the last. Yeah. And he said Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was like his big going out retirement movie. That was his that swan was song. That was... Yeah. And this, this next one is whatever. He just said he was going to make it to 10. And people were trying to, uh, he put the rest, the rumor, like a lot of people were like, oh, he should remake Reservoir Dogs, knowing what he knows now for directing. Yeah. Because people have grown over like that movie could be better, even though it was perfect the way it was. And he's like, yeah, I've had ideas on to, to remake that, but I'm not going to do a remake of Reservoir Dogs. He Fuck didn't you, really Internet. S- I am not doing it. He didn't really say that on Joe. He didn't say it I on Joe, know. but he said it on uh, Bill Maher. Yeah? yeah oh, he's, he's like, on Bill Maher? Oh, yeah. I gotta listen to that. That's, well, the, I don't know how long the interview was, but that part was about five minutes, and he's like, yeah, I thought about doing it, but I am not gonna do it. Fuck you, Internet. I am yeah. not doing it. Joe tried to talk him into doing a Rambo movie. Or, no, not a, a, a Conan movie. Conan movie. The Barbarian? Conan the Barbarian oh movie. Oh my god, talk about all the blood. Oh, there's so much blood. Just pssst. Yeah. Oh, I, he would do it blood up. Blood fountains. But what was I going with that? Oh, oh I was I was go going with... Uh, so Quentin Tarantino went on this, this stint of talking shit about Bruce Lee for like 25 minutes. Bruce Lee was an asshole and oh, yeah. nobody liked working with him and he didn't create Kung Fu. It was before and then... Uh, he didn't write the the books that he said he wrote. He took ideas from other things. Like, he was fucking ripping him. I don't know. You got to listen to it. It's I heard, and then somebody, like, he had a lot of criticism from that. He's like, I'm not saying the guy was, like, he sucked or anything like that. I'm just, no, he looked certain, up to him. Yeah. yeah, these certain things that's he fucked over or he took the soul or did this. 
And he's like, I'm not saying he's a bad person. Fuck you. Yeah. No, but he was like, he was like, uh, no, he's a great guy, but he couldn't, uh, he couldn't fight Muhammad Ali or anything. He was 120 pounds. He was a little guy. He well, was he good at his craft. Him. Hell no. And he was like, all I'm saying is his wife is a fucking liar. And he said that like 12 <laughs> times. Joe Rogan was like, damn. <laughs> All right. yeah, I love the guy. Shots but why fired? is a fucking liar? <laughs> he was, dude, he's so brutal in the podcast. Wow, it's gnarly. I gotta find that tweet. It's like in uh, the one he's talking about, Bruce Lee, who Bill Maher or uh, no Tarantino, Tarantino. Uh, they talked about so much. I'm sure he had uh, a lot to uh, to say afterwards too. About what they spoke about. Quentin Tarantino tells critics of Bruce Lee's portrayal in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to suck a dick. <laughs> yes. He was like, yo, know, what did he say? He said, uh, he said, I do give a shit what his daughter thinks, but his yeah. daughter didn't say anything like bad. Yeah, she didn't come out of She didn't say off. anything. So anybody else can suck a dick. <laughs> so good. I love Quentin. Oh, he's he's a funny guy. I don't know what he would do next. I don't see him doing Conan. I don't see him taking on something that's already been done. He's always been an original. Right. Yeah. He writes his own shit and then directs it. Yeah. Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, <clears throat> even Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. or Yeah, and that was the Manson Jago, thing. Jago and Chain. He did his own like research for years on that and. It's, that was an original film. He, yeah, he can't do a, a remake or no. He does his own stuff, so it'll be an original. The Hateful Eight, but whatever it is, it's gonna have Kill Samuel Bill. Mm-hmm. Did Kill Bill Volume One and Two. The, I think it's like one of the only ones that and Reservoir Dogs are like the only two movies like that Samuel L. Jackson wasn't in. Oh really? Yeah, he loves yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. He's in everything. It's so wild how we got to start because he. <laughs> Um, was just working at uh like a, a movie rental place. Tarantino. Tarantino. Yeah, he was a, just a movie buff. He yeah, was a little nerdy movie buff. Loved guy. watching movies and just renting movies out to people. And you know what? He wrote I think I can script. do that too. Yeah, he wrote a script and somebody, uh, one of his buddies, I think, got a hold of it and was like, "I can get somebody to to back you." And um. He was like, he was like, "All right, I don't think so," because he he got a, a small deal first and they were going to give him like six grand or something to make reservoir dogs and uh one of his buddies was like i can get a major producer to sponsor you to make it a bigger movie and if i can't then you can do it on your six millimeter film or whatever and he was like all right uh he gave him six weeks and he was like i'll give give the rights to you to do to find somebody to produce it for a hundred bucks so he's sitting on a hundred bucks or whatever for six weeks and Mm -hmm. then he found it and then Made it big, and that was it. Damn. Bam. You got Reservoir Dogs. We'll wrap this up. Like a soft core condom. Yeah, let us know if you uh, like that soft core porn idea. Mystery Science Theater 3000 style. You know we're not going to get any replies out of that. Oh, I know, but I like to throw it out there just to try to help engage with the fucking audience. Guy in Ireland, do you like soft core porn? I haven't porn? heard from you yet, guy in Ireland or lady in Ireland. <laughs> lady in person, you, non-binary you, person in Ireland. You lassie, come on. <laughs> but anyway, enough rambling for this episode. So yeah, uh, tune in next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, rate us all the stars. All of them. All the stars on the internet. Find them. Put them on our show. Tell your friends. Share us. Just quick link. You know, hit the little share button on Facebook when you see this pop up. Just, you know, it's not hurting you. It's not hurting anybody. It helps us. You can tell Carmen Electra about us. Oh yeah. Carmen Electra. Who has silicone titties that get ripped out in a scary movie? <laughs> so yeah, um, I think that will do it for this episode. Tune in next time. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.